welcome to my new series where I take a single topic and I will go into as much detail as I think you need to know as a beginner. In this video, we're going to look at pivot points. So first thing is, what is a pivot point? If you select your object and you rotate it, it rotates around the pivot point, it scales around the pivot point and if you move it you'll notice that where your move tool sits the very center of this box and the dot is the pivot point when you create an object the pivot point automatically is right at the center but we have the ability to move the pivot point anywhere we like so if we rotate this cube, it rotates around the middle. But if I've moved the pivot point, this bottom corner here, and I now rotate, it rotates around that corner. Pivot points are extremely important. They are used a lot when you are rigging, um, when you want to move objects around the seam, and also when you are modeling. If we take a look at this example here, I have a suitcase and I know that I want the lid to hinge open from the hinges and so what I had to do here was make sure that this group had a pivot point that was going to allow me to do that. So let's have a look at how we edit the pivot point. So to edit the pivot you can do a couple of ways. You can press the D key and you go into pivot mode so you'll see that the manipulator has changed from just my normal move tool to my edit pivot and if you've got the tool settings open you'll also see that the edit pivot button is highlighted blue okay you can do the same by pressing the insert key on the keyboard and you can also press and hold the d key and then if you've held it when you let go it automatically releases my tip would be remember D key to edit pivot mode because every keyboard, whether it's Mac or PC, whether it's a small or large keyboard is going to have the D key. So let's go into edit pivot mode. You can grab the center of the manipulator and move it anywhere in the scene or you can move it in one axis only or you can move it in two by using the squares. So let's have a look at how we would move the pivot to the base of this cube. So we're in edit pivot mode and we can just move the manipulator down. And we could eyeball it and say that looks pretty much at the base, but there's a better way. A lot of the time when you're moving the pivot, you want to move it into an accurate position. So you would want to use snapping in conjunction. So these little magnet keys, if you don't know already, are how you snap. This one here is vertice snapping. So now when I move, it's gonna snap to the vertices and the cube hasn't got many. So it's either the top or the bottom, okay? If you don't want to use this button up here the shortcut for vertice snapping is V you can hold down V and then move it and snap to the base and now we can go D to e exit pivot mode and now we have our pivot point right at the bottom of our cube and so we could easily place this on top of any other objects by using vertice snapping not in it in pivot mode or we can hold down x and snap to the grid and i can place it on the ground and i know that that sits exactly on the ground and then if i did want to change the scale of it it's scaling from the ground and so it it still stays on the ground so that's one thing you will do a lot when you manipulate your pivot is putting it at the base of an object sometimes you might notice that let's just go into pivot mode and move it over here Sometimes you might notice that your pivot ends up like somewhere absolutely random. If you want to ever reset your pivot, you can go to modify center pivot. Now, this is something that I think you will do a lot. So it might be worth if you have a custom shelf, putting that on a custom shelf. Because as far as I'm aware, there's not a shortcut key for it. Let's say we want both of these objects to rotate together around this cube's corner well, what we can do here is we can group them when you create a group every group has a pivot point of its own and then each object has their own pivot point as well 
Pivot points for groups automatically when they're created go to the origin of the world, so 000. zero, zero. And so we can edit them just like we did with the cube before. So I could go into my edit pivot mode and I can hold down the V key to snap to vertice. And then if I position my mouse sort of over one of the corners of my cube and middle mouse button and wiggle, it's going to snap to the bottom of my cube and then I can exit the pivot mode and now my pivot point sits at the base of the cube for this group and I can rotate both of the objects together and that is what I did for this because I used a group because I had multiple objects and that I wanted to all rotate together so I created a group the next thing and last thing that I'm going to talk about for this beginner tutorial is how to edit pivots of components. So if we take this sphere, when you select components, you'll see that every time I select my move tool is moving because it's updating the pivot based on the components that I have selected and it will always try and figure out where is kind of the center of the bounding box of these components and that's where it will place the pivot. Um, so if I select my faces and I scale them, it will scale from my pivot point. And what you can do is you can move the pivot in component mode and this is only temporary though. So I'll show you, we would go into edit pivot mode we could hold down V again and snap it to this top corner and then we could go back to the scale tool and I could scale and it would scale these components from that point and it would also move them from that point so you could you know I don't know why I'd want to do it on this sphere like this but let's say there is a scenario where you do want to change the pivot of the components before you scale them or before you um, rotate them then that is how you would do it and if we now have finished our edit and we go back to object mode you'll see that it goes back to our objects pivot which is currently in the center because we haven't changed this one and then if we go back to face mode the pivot point has reset because when you change the pivot point of component it's only temporary and so it's back in the center trying to figure out where's the center of these 12 faces that you have selected that to me is is the essentials of pivot points and everything as a beginner that you should know and understand and you will use a lot there are more complex things you can do with pivot points but i think i'll save that for another video I hope this was helpful if you want me to cover the beginner basics of another topic let me know in the comments